Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video on cavitation, flashing and choke flow. Uh, by the end of this video, you will have the basic understanding of cavitation, flashing and choke flow. So please watch the video till the end. And before starting the discussion, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed it for the more interesting video in future. Thank you. Let's start the discussion. So first point uh, we are discussing is the cavitation. Let's say we have a control wall. Uh, you can see the arrow and let's say the P1 uh, is the pressure at the inlet of the control wall. The, the fluid is entering uh, in the control wall and the pressure is start decreasing. You can see this drop on this chart. Okay. At the this is the vena contracta of this control wall. And you can see the pressure is goes below the vapor pressure of that liquid and once the the vapor pressure the pressure at the vena contractor goes below the vapor pressure the water starts boiling you can see the the bubbles here below the vapor pressure and after once the water leaving the control wall it will it's you can see it starts gaining the pressure and the the bubbles formed uh, in the vena contracta it will explode because the pressure at the outlet of the control wall will be greater than the uh, vapor pressure of that liquid so this the bubble which were formed it will explode and that explode bubble will release the some amount of energy and which will uh, uh, create some pitting or cracks on the control wall or pipe surface this is nothing but the cavitation you can see uh, in this uh, picture uh, initially there is a bubble formation once uh, the liquid is leaving the vena contractor this bubble is trying to shrink and it will go, uh, going small small and it, the finally it will explode and it release the energy and have this kind of damage to the wall trim wall surfaces or on the pipeline so this is the very uh, basic term of the cavitation then next is flashing so flashing uh, is nothing but uh, let's say uh, let's consider this is the p1 is the pressure at the inlet of the control wall and at the vena contractor pressure starts dropping it goes below the vapor pressure and in this area there will be the uh, bubble formation or the boiling of the liquid and you can see this green curve is the pressure at the outlet of the control wall is not regain uh, above the vapor pressure it's still below the vapor pressure in this case the bubble will not explode okay so the bubble will be uh, carrying throughout the uh, it will be as it is at the outlet of the control wall it will not explode but the specific volume of that liquid will increase at the outlet of the control wall which will uh, result in increase the velocity of the fluid and during the very high velocity there will be some erosion uh, or accelerated corrosion on the wall trim you can see in this picture so this is called the flashing the next is choke flow so choke flow you can uh, choke flow is uh, in liquid occurs when the vapor is formed as a result of cavitation or flashing uh, because uh, due to the cavitation and flashing there is uh, increasing specific volume of the fluid and uh, after a certain limit flow no longer increase by increasing the differential pressure uh, generally what happens if when we increase the differential pressure across the control wall or any pipeline the flow increases correct but in this case once there is a vapor formation in the liquid flow no longer increases if you uh, try to increase the differential pressure infinite still your flow rate will not increase it will keep or it will be as it is you can see this uh, chart flow versus delta p you can see initially as delta p is increasing the flow rate is increasing but at this point you can see there is a after you can see after this point if you increasing infinite delta p the flow is still only this much it will not 
exceed further okay this is the choke flow and is the liquid is choked or not we can find out by this equation if delta p is greater than of this equation then is uh, outflow is choked and if it's less than then it's not choke so this is all about uh, cavitation flashing and choke flow hope you guys have uh, uh, have un understood the concept if you have any doubt please uh, comment i will try to reply on to you thank you so much